That is utterly ridiculous, Tiffany. Is it me? Utterly ridiculous. I just gotta tell ya. Actually, I have been having a rough couple of days. I am gonna confess. And I, you know what? Shopping makes me happy. So I'm going in here knowing that I don't really need inventory right now. And I know a lot of you do that too. So we're gonna truly treasure hunt. I, I did really good the other day leaving stuff behind and still came away with some amazing treasure. So I'm gonna do that again. The little tchotchke stuff that kind of draws me in, I am going to leave it on the shelf. I'm gonna leave it on the shelf and I'm gonna look for those high profit items. So, come along with me. I only have an hour to shop because I gotta get Rachel the horseback riding. So, uh, let's go see how well I can do this time. Let's go. Oh, and look who I found to go shopping with. <laughs> That is Tiffany from Thrifting Vegas. Go check out her channel. Uh, we were working on stuff for our booth and just happened to end up at a Goodwill. How did that happen? <laughs> okay, lucky cart. All right, I'm just gonna get it out of the way first. We are just gonna hit the Christmas first. Because I think that's the easiest place for me to resist things. Gotta tell ya. Some pretty crystal. It's probably German crystal. $3.99. Not super valuable. Christmas mugs. What are you? Holiday greetings. Oh, it's a little Christmas countdown thing. That's really cute. I do like that. Alright, I just realized my camera was in some weird little funky mode that was all zeroed in so I had to fix that so you can see things oh red m m mug red m m mug oh no no good okay it's not $7.99 we're not doing it okay let's see he looks a little vintage I know he's plastic but he still he looks vintagey he looks vintagey plastic if there is such a thing all right, nothing in the Christmas. My goodness, these shelves are uh, kind of bare, I must say. They're getting ready for their red tag half off sale. 92, California Redwood. Oh, maybe they're bringing new goodies to the shelf. <gasps> it's a pineapple birdhouse. Uh, keeping or selling though, that's the question. Six dollars. I do like it. I like it a lot. Okay, I am going to get the pineapple birdhouse for $5.99. All right, let's see what's on these shelves. What is that? It's a... Ooh, wait, before I do that, let's look at her. She's very nice. $7.99. She's older. Not super old. It's a polarized plug. Probably 80s, I would say, on her. Hmm. You know what? I'm just I'm gonna let somebody else deal with finding her a shade and all that. I'm just gonna, gonna leave her behind. Oh, he's missing his sombrero. Otherwise, those would have been cool. That is a bummer. This is Dynasty Gallery. The collectors around the world. It's four dollars. You know what? It's the kind of thing I'm gonna leave behind. That's a. It's all in Russian, I do believe. Seven ninety nine. That makes it easy to leave behind. All right. So far, I'm not not being tempted. 
not being tempted. Except I am being tempted by the squirrel. Oh, he's got, are those? Oh no, that's how he's made. He's almost like a student piece. No, he's from Home Goods. Seemed like a student piece. For $3.99, we'll leave him. That's one of these big eyed girls. I don't know, I kind of like that one that I picked up the other day that was painted. Um, I like the painted one. This one, she's got a little, she's a little messed up. No, nope, we're gonna leave her. We will leave her. This little guy is older. Can't tell what his mark is on there. Probably a, like an Arnart, kind of that era. Oh, he's one of his handles is broken. Now, nope. all right. Making it easy, making it easy. It's just like a pillar thing. I'm not even gonna pick up any more birds for myself. Just not gonna do it. Schweitzky Zur Lindy. I don't know who that is. It's not super appealing. Ashtrays, not super appealing. Oh, green tags are 50% off. That is $14.99, so it makes that easy to leave behind. All right. Give me a W. Give me an M. Or maybe it's the W. Nope, tags on the bottom, so it's an M. <laughs> this is uh, kind of cute. What do we got going on here? Ugh. Huh, I don't know how I feel about that completely. It's not really my kind of thing, but it's cute. Now, if it had horses with it, I can't even get it back on the shelf. There we go. If it had horses with it, I would be super tempted, but it doesn't. So let's look at the leaf next to it. Ooh, that is really lightweight. That like has no substance to it at all. None. All right. So far, doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Just not putting anything in the cart except, you know, a groovy pineapple. Oh, look at these guys. The Bulls Texas Longhorn. Missing their horns though. These are like hand carved by somebody. Pretty cool, but uh, they are missing their sale. Their sale. They are missing, I'm reading that. My brain was way ahead of me. They're missing their horns, not their sale. Really good advice right there, because if you try to be somebody other than yourself, pretty soon you will drive yourself crazy. All right. Craft stuff. Oh, nothing in it. Let's get a little shade. Wow, the shelves are just wiped out today. There's nothing from A to Z, even though there's A and Z on the shelf. <laughs> That's Nice piece of copper, but it's it's just a nice piece of copper. What else can I say? Not a whole lot. All right, let's move along. What would this have held? What would have gone in there? It's got, well, I guess since the tag's on it, I'll be able to figure out what would have gone in. It's a cutlery holder. There you go. For $7.99. He's cute. Just don't think he's $7.99 cute. Oh, this is one of those Keurig drawers. You put all your little Keurig things and then you put the coffee maker on top. Those used to be super expensive. I don't know if they are anymore and it's not really my niche, but this is. These, these are my niche. $3.99, uh, $4 each, oh goodness. You know what, I, I'm gonna put these in the cart and contemplate them. I'm pretty sure I'll end up with them, but I'll contemplate them for a while. These have a really nice look to them and they're like cast iron, but they are from Kohl's. Iron pillar plate, they were $9.99 at Kohl's. So, just not high enough for me to deal with today. Look at me go, leaving stuff behind. 
Do I see fake peacock feathers? I do. These are fake peacock feathers, but most of them are missing their actual little color part. Yeah, that's a shame. Because those would have been really cool. But they're missing. They're missing too much to make them useful. It's kind of a cute little polka dot pattern. We've got a little crystal swan for $5 that we're going to leave behind. Love the color of these, but they're very modern. I just can tell they're modern. They would have had a sticker down there on the bottom. Um, they're $1.99. They are super pretty. Super pretty color. But do I need them? I don't need them. So I'm going to leave them. And look, these, these have bubbles. They have, well, these are still controlled bubbles, even though they're not very controlled as far as pattern-wise. They're still known as a controlled bubble, Bulacante. But this is pretty indicative of glass made in Mexico, where the bubbles are really, really random, versus Italian, especially Murano, where they're very, very precisely spaced. So. These are interesting, but um, not something I'm going to pick up today. All right, anything in the clear glass? Nope. What? Hopefully I can make a long enough video to go up on YouTube today because there's just not a whole lot to shop. Oh, I do see a shelf though. I'm going to have to talk to Tiffany about that. We're taking our first load of shelves down to our new space tomorrow. So that's the big day tomorrow. Making, making that all happen. All right, I don't, that's all lids. Let's come back over here and look in the dishes. Who are you? You are Cunningham and Pickett. Cunningham and Pickett. Like a little mid-century pattern with wheat. A couple little candle holders. I see some little courting people back over here. Kind of a luster dish there. Sort of interesting. Let's see if we got anything noteworthy up here. All little shamrock dishes are cute. Don't know who does those. <laughs> who does those? Okay, I think I'm gonna get away from this person who's hacking their lung up over here in the shelf. I'm just not a fan of that. This is a Halls kitchenware. Not a super high-end piece, and it's not priced. I'm not gonna deal with it, but... These are very pretty. I think I have picked these up before. I'm pretty sure these are Pure One. And there is a pair of them. Now I am going to pick these up. Oh, but it's glass and it's plates, Danny. Okay, they're small plates and they're super beautiful and because in my memory bank I know I've picked these up before and they were good, that's why I'm picking them up today. Alright, never fear. I found all five of them that were on the shelf. Not going to leave them behind like I did those dragonfly plates the other day. I got all five. And I found this cute little sunflower creamer and sugar. Now they are not, they're not marked with a name. So it would, it would be $8 for the set. And under my formula, I'd have to be able to get at least $25 to make spending $8 okay. I'm like, can I get $25 for this set? I'm not so sure I can. And there's a little bit of damage here. So for that reason, I'm gonna leave those behind and be good as much as it sort of pains me. And I'm gonna look and see if I can find anything that is a little bit better to put in the cart. All right, a couple of little clear glass pieces, something somebody completely took out of the box and did bad things with. I do see a fish down here though. Let's check out this fish platter who's really cute. It is by Sari Art Portugal. 
which is, a pr that's pretty decent. I'm feeling it over for any chips. Uh, that will clean off, that's just some schmuzz. It's only three bucks, so I will pick this up for the booth. I don't wanna ship this, but I have some other stuff like this to go to the booth. Put this up on a plate stand and then put little fish stuff in front of it. It will make for a really nice display with that blue frame. Over here in the pots and the pans, I spotted this little vase with a little flower. Actually, I don't see any brokens. Now, I don't think this one is an anthropology, but it is in that style. It's $4. This is one of those like, do I do it or do I not? Do I do it or do I not? Can I get 20 bucks for it? I think I probably can because it is in that anthropology style. So I am gonna pick this one up and see how close I get to making my $20. Looking at the baggies. These look like they're carved from horn. Now this one's got its stopper. This one does not have its stopper and that's why I'm hesitating a bit. Um, but those are kind of cool and I've never seen them before. They would be $5. So basically what I'm doing is gonna get a $5 education one way or another. Can I get my five bucks back? I'm pretty sure I can and I'm gonna learn something. Although, wait a minute. Is that a chip? Oh, I can't tell. I think it might be. All right, you know what? I am gonna leave them and I'm just gonna research based on my video. And then I hope I'm not gonna kick myself that these are some like really expensive thing because I've never seen ones carved out of horns like this before. So super unusual. But because of the missing stopper, that's why I'm leaving them. All right, we're gonna check out a little bit of art. I just dropped off a ton of art down at the, the regular antique mall. Because I'm kind of changing out, I'm taking all my display cases out of there, so I'm gonna have wall space. I'm gonna I'm gonna sell my art from there and then eventually close my second space there. G-Day Queensland Kookaburras. I like those. $6.99 for the Kookaburras. It is a print. It's not G-Day, it's Good Day. Okay, Good Day, mate. I get it. Uh, do I want these? I kind of do, I like the colors. I'm gonna get it for $6.99. I'm gonna check out what this little print is back here. Yeah, she's cute, but I can leave her. Ooh. I like the typewriter too, but it's a very new print for 10 bucks. All right, I'm gonna leave everything else behind. Over in the smaller art, I picture this guy and I do really well with rooster prints. And he's really, really nice. It is a print by Lori Shaw somebody. All right, it is five bucks. I'm gonna pick that up. Let's see what else we can find in here. Like this cute little Japanese. What I'm looking to see is, is it a, is it a watercolor or is it just a print? I think it's, I think it's a print. So we'll leave her. And then I'm seeing, oh, the frame is like all these little marbles. Kind of like it. Not enough to buy it though. Not today. Another day, I could have been tempted, but I'm being good today. I'm being ever so good today. Trying anyway. We could fail at any moment. Look at this. A beautiful bird on it. It is a Mikasa Shangri-La. $7.99. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to leave that one. I am gonna look it up though, so I know what it's worth, you know, if I ever find it in the future. But I'm um, not picking it up today. That piece is very, very new feel to it. Very new feel to it. It'll be interesting for, I mean, Tiffany and I, we don't, Tiffany and I, we don't shop, you know, side by side. So it's always interesting to go watch each other's videos and go, all right, what did you pick up? What did you? What'd you say about that thing? 
See if we both left it behind for the same reason. That's always fun. Here is a little tea canister with sunflowers. It's $4 again. Can I get 20 for that? Nope, I can't. So I'm gonna leave that for somebody else. Because right now I just have a lot of stuff to deal with. I need to get, oh, I need to get ahead, but oh, oh. <laughs> Remember, I picked up one piece of stone fruit the other day. Um, this is marble or alabaster. It is Italian. It's, it's pretty bougie. Uh, this stuff sells really well when you have a bunch of it. I don't really relish paying $4 a piece, but there's quite a few pieces here. I, I am going to pick it up because it does do really well. All right, let's see what else we can find. That is Bellagio. I don't, what would have gone in there? I don't know. Some kind of server. This looks very uh, Ray Dunnish, doesn't it? But it's not the right, ugh, they covered it up. It's not the right uh, print, it's not the right font. Yep, it's a threshold. So they're trying to copy the, the style, but it's not, it's not the Ray Dunn font. See, this little teapot is a Teleflora from 1985. It is cute, but it is not a $20 bill. So we will move along and look at the little apothecary stacking glass jars. Gosh darn, why does that have to be so expensive? $8.99. Oh, I do really like this. I like this a lot. Ah, I can think of so many uses for this, even in my own bathroom. $9 though, $9. Do I want to pay $9 for it? You know what, I'm gonna put it in my cart and get Tiffany's opinion. All right, this is a really neat candy jar. I like it, but we're not gonna get that one. Let's see. What else? What else, what else, what else? It's underneath here. Hmm. Finding more and more of these uh, corn cob holders. All right, I don't see anything else. Can't live without. All right, let's see what's over in the glasses. These kind of caught my eye down here. Fairly common pattern, even though it's, I mean, it is vintage, but it's not that exciting. Oh, let's see what we got here. Nice Packers glasses. You know, Packers fans are pretty, they're pretty hardcore. They might just pay $20 for a set of these, I gotta tell you. Uh, they are scratched up a little bit though. Ooh, and we've got Wonder Woman. Check that out. Wonder Woman. She's in pretty good shape too. I'm trying to figure out, oh, there we go. Now well, it does say, trademark and copyright DC Comics. There's no other like a uh, fast food or anything on it. Huh. You know what? I do think I'm going to pick up Wonder Woman for how much is she? $2.99? Yeah, we'll do okay with her. Alright. Oh. These are cute little miniature stein slash shot glass, but we're gonna leave it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Oh, what are these? What are those birds and like wine glasses on there? Those are, those are kind of cute. I'm trying to read what it says. Oh, Mexico. They're made in Mexico. Huh. Those are kind of cute. They're three dollars each though. So we'll leave them. They were just unusual. Hadn't seen ones like that before. These, I believe, are made by Pier One. But I actually gotta tell you, I had the ones that I had split in two. So I'm a little squeamish of those now. However, they make them, they're weak around the swirl. Who'd have known? Who'd have known? Kind of nice red. 
red, red glasses. Huh. All right, we're gonna leave them though. We don't need them. All right, let's look through the wine glasses. See if there's anything we need. I do like the blue stems. I am a sucker for the blue stems. But I, I'm not gonna pick those up today because I have plenty to deal with right now. So, oh, it's another one of those. Go be with your little friends over here. There you go. Who remembers the love is characters oh my gosh the little naked people that adorned so many things this is a little set of note cards in here what the world needs love is what the world needs I really kind of like these I like these little naked people I have to pick these up for five bucks and then I found this it is the music from Wicked. Music books do really well. Let's see, how much is it? $1.99, yes, we will pick that up. All right, we're kind of in the mishmash shells. What are these? Oh, they're like letter, letter cards. What is that? It's like just a big craft coiling rope thing. All right, that's different. What are these? There's, <laughs> you know you look at something and you still don't know what they are? It's kinda, I'm having that moment right now. Art, creative thinking complete. I'm done, what's new activity on another sheet of paper. Some kind of a practice and learn right publications school thing. I think homeschooling things are gonna be very, very, very hot this year. So much turmoil with kids going back to school that I just think that homeschooling is just gonna be bigger than it has been in the past. And it's always been kind of a thing, so. You know what, Noah wanted another shelf. And this is a, like a black grid shelf that I, I think my boy would like to have in his room. I'm gonna pick that up. And Tiffany just brought me over a little turtle from Jamaica for $2.99. Of course, you know, he's not going anywhere but up on my shelf. So, hello, mister. Welcome home. All right, now we're over like, where they keep the little bathroom stuff. Those are really cute. Again, I have a friend I think would like those, so I'm gonna pick those up for her and see what else is on this shelf. It's kind of an interesting candle. You never know what's gonna get stuck in here with all this stuff, so we'll grab those and see what else we can find. Not much. A little bit slim pickings today. Okay, this is this is tempting. This is really old. I believe it's for Christmas lights. Old cord for Christmas lights. Do you think this is an old cord for Christmas lights? <gasps> What'd you, you find? See something cool. You found a jellyfish that glows. He glows. Hard to see on the camera, but okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Oh, I know it's got the yellow in the background. There we go. I love those things, those are so cool. Do you think this was for Christmas lights? With all the little sockets? Well, no, because those it's an extension cord. Is it just like a really old extension? I'm puzzled. What went in the? I thought it was for Christmas lights at first, but now I'm seeing plugs. I wonder if it was for a display. It looks like these hang. It's, yeah. I wonder if it was for a display for different trees. Maybe, I mean, it's a really old extension cord. 
That might even we, be like Bakelite. Trust it. <laughs> oh heavens, now here it says, each one of these little things was 99 cents. I don't know, I'm puzzled. Maybe I'm just making this all up in my head. We're gonna creep on your cart. You gotta creep on your cart. You found a love you more sign. I guess she's finding all the good stuff. <laughs> oh, forget who makes these, but I've got a few of those. All right, you'll have to you'll have to go over to her channel and see what everything is. All right, I just had to make a really tough decision and leave behind something that I have been wanting for a really long time. Do you love these, oh, I do love the carrots. <laughs> I do love the carrots, but see that propane heater thing back there? We were sitting there going, could we get that in her van? Ah, uh, yeah, I, I really, really want it, but. <laughs> But no, we're gonna pass. We got some pretty crystal, crystal lamps. What'd you find? Oh. My Halloween costume. <laughs> Which would be what? Um, A gardener? Jason. Oh, Jason. Jason Borbies. No, oh, this is cute. This is, it's a little banged up though. That's cute though. Cute little brass converted oil lamp kind of a lamp. Okay. Oh, we're winding down. Uh, this is probably uh, the least I've put in my cart in a very long time. So I'm very proud of myself right now. And I'm within my time frame so that I can get home and get my girl to horseback riding. Because she really, really looks forward to it every week. Lillo. Lillo brand. I don't know that brand. I like the colors on this, though. I gotta tell you. I do like the colors. I'm looking for a price tag, and I'm not... I'm not seeing a price tag. So I might just try it and see. Oh, there's a price tag. There we go. Oh, $7.99. Yeah, I don't like it that much. I kind of liked it, but watch me find out that that was some really expensive brand. That is utterly ridiculous, Tiffany. Is it me? Utterly ridiculous. I just got to tell you. Ooh, kitchen science. What can we make explode? Amazing experiments. This is the... Uh, it, is it just one or is it multiple? Contains six specially designed kitchen science experiments. Ooh, I kind of want to get that for a little homeschool action and see what kind of a mess we can make. Invisible ink, fingerprints, rock candy, volcano, I'm like digging the volcano, vinegar rocket, ooh, that sounds dangerous. Fruit battery. Oh, you know what? For five bucks, we're going to have some fun with that. Well, I think that's it for me. I am going to keep that. I know. I talked myself into it. And um, there's everything in my cart. Got a couple books for Rachel and the science experiment. But uh, not, not a whole lot. So I think I, I, think I had a lot of self-control on this one. I think I did. Stay tuned for the recap. I'll show you everything I bought and what it's worth.
spot. Are you gonna rescue? You're gonna rescue the grapes, aren't you? She's rescuing the grapes. They're they're a little messed up. Poor grapes. We'll do something with these. You'll see these in the oh, food. are they like? Oh, they're not like sugared grapes. Oh, look at me! I'm wrecking them more. All right. Well, they're freebies, so why not? Why not? You can make them okay. <laughs> All right. Not too shabby. I, I'm proud of myself. You know, we have to do that in this business. We have to internalize our little cheerleader thing that, you know, other people get out in the workforce. They get it, you know, with bonuses or a well done job by the boss. And, and we don't have that external kind of factor telling us, oh, you did good. You got to tell yourself. You just got to tell yourself and celebrate your wins and celebrate your moments. So there and join the Niche to Profit group and we'll celebrate with you too. So we can kind of have that little bit of a, I mean, this is this is hard when you're all by yourself and you gotta be self-disciplined and self-motivated and self, self, self. So you gotta take care of yourself too. All right, I am off to horseback riding with my little girl. So with that, go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one.